Brand new details revealed today about how Hannah Anderson was abducted and taken from San Diego to Idaho. The 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina shows us the trick that James DiMaggio used to move the Lakeside team without a fight. Hannah Anderson admits there were times she might have been able to escape her abductor, James DiMaggio, especially as he slept, but said she was fearful. Quote, maybe I could have done something, but who knows? She also alluded to her emotional state as she told of DiMaggio holding a revolver and wanting her to play Russian roulette. When it was my turn, I started crying and like was freaking out. And he said, do you want to play? And I said, no. And I started crying and then he's like, okay, and he stopped. Hannah told the Today Show that he drugged me, something that makes the author of an upcoming book about the kidnapping wonder. She did claim that she had been drugged. But the details surrounding her being drugged were a whole lot shakier. The Lakeside teenager has been criticized for her social media postings, pictures, and comments, including her excitement at meeting pop star Miley Cyrus. Family and friends of DiMaggio recognize that Hannah's gone through trauma, the kidnapping and shooting of her abductor by the FBI, and the murders of her mother and brother in this raging house fire. They want answers, too. They're so protective of of letting us know what really happened and letting us see the evidence and, and holding Hannah out purely as a victim, and yet she seems to be representing herself in a somewhat inappropriate way. Hannah used Instagram for this note, too. Thank you to everyone who came to celebrate Ethan's birthday. And this, to her dead brother, I miss you with every bone in my body, and I know I never said it enough, but I love you. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. Hannah Anderson's father accompanied her to New York for that network television interview.